Hi everyone, it's Wendy Ackett's from Ackett's Handmade Pie Company. I'm in our pie shop in Armada, and this was our birthplace here. Actually, we started baking pies out of my home, and then we moved the operation here to this 10-acre apple orchard. We converted the barn and made it into a commercial bakery, uh, and so that's another whole story in itself. But what a great experience to be here in Armada, out in the country, just a mile from home, it was wonderful. We've grown a lot since then, and we have certainly learned a lot. One of the things that we had to do is move from this little place. This was our main bakehouse. We were baking hundreds of pies every day, thousands of pies. Um, we had to add on, we have our back barn, uh, we had storage sheds out back. We were just busting at the seams here. Um, this little building was just not big enough and so we had to move our big bakehouse operation out of the Armada Township here and we were really sad to have to do that but we needed um, city municipalities we needed water we needed uh, you know we have a septic field here and we're on a well so it, we were just growing too big and we needed to move out um, or we needed to be able to hook up to the city sewer and water. So we still have our little storefront here. We're still doing a little bit of baking here. Uh, we've got our hot soup and a little bit of lunch items. And so it's great here in the community. We do a coffee and espresso. We've got the Wi-Fi here, so it's a nice little place. So when we made the big move, we had to remodel this whole place. And that took months. We couldn't close down. Uh, it was just not feasible. So we did everything we could during the remodeling, uh, during the nighttime or on the weekends. It, it was crazy. Uh, we had big sheets of plastic <laughs> hanging everywhere where, where, you know, drywall and, you know, we put in new flooring. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. It was just really difficult to come into work every day and everything was moved and you couldn't find anything. So it was really crazy. We also had to do the parking lot. We had to put in drain holes and cement curbs and all this unnecessary crazy stuff that here in Armada, we're in the township, we're in the country. We have a 10 acre apple orchard that needs the water runoff from the parking lot, from the roof. It should have been draining out into our farmland, um, but instead, uh, we had to put in the drain manhole, put in curbs around our parking lot, and the water had to go down into the drainage ditches. Uh, so I don't agree with that. And so <laughs> there's a lot of things that you should know when you're trying to open up your little business, um, whether it's another pie shop or a small bakery or a little deli or an ice cream parlor or a coffee shop. There's some things that you should know um, that you can do to have a variance. Maybe I should have protested and said I don't see the need for these cement curbs in this big giant parking lot, paved, manhole, all this kind of stuff. Um, I should have been a little more on top of it. My husband Dave and I, we should have asked for a variance. There should have been something to be done because that whole parking lot fiasco cost about $100,000. And with the bakehouse having to relocate, this little pie shop here would not have been able to handle that financial burden of having to spend another $100,000 on top of $200,000 that we were putting into remodeling this. I know it's a lot, it's part of business, and you've gotta do what you gotta do. Hopefully you can get a line of credit, hopefully you can get a, an equipment loan. So I'm hoping to be able to share with you Everything we learned over 25 years, a lot of the mistakes that we did, I'm hoping you don't have to relive those same mistakes. I'm going to share them with you. So hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with your friends and all that kind of stuff. We'll see you next time.